Hey everyone, my name is Earth to Lydia and welcome back to another Should You Buy episode. Today we're going to be going over Elodie Rakoto from the Binding of Kin chapter. And for those of you that haven't seen one of these videos before, what we usually do is go over the character model, that character's teachable perks, and what players they will be better suited towards. If you haven't already checked out the other videos in this series, then I will be leaving a link to the playlist where you can find them all. And if you want to see anybody else in a future installment, then let me know who down in the comments. Anyway, let's get into it. So going over Elodie's character model, Model first, she tends to have really brightly coloured clothes and a slightly larger character model than any of the other female survivors in the game. She also has quite a shrill voice, so if you're trying to play her without Iron Will, you might want to get healed up if you're injured, as she's quite easy to locate from the killer's perspective. If you have a look at her cosmetics in the store, as with her default cosmetics, you'll find that she also has a lot of really brightly coloured clothing. She also, of course, has the reindeer onesie that got released recently, but that is part of a set, so if you're not prepared to pay for the full price, Price, and then unfortunately you will not be able to pick this up. Moving on to Elodie's teachable perks. So at level 30 in the character's blood web, you'll be able to pick up appraisal. When you start the trial, appraisal will have three tokens. When a chest has already been searched, you can use one of these tokens to rummage that chest. And also the rummaging action is up to 80% faster than normal chest searching. Now this perk got changed quite quickly after being launched. It used to be that you could use all of your rummaging tokens on the same chest. Now you can only rummage through each chest once. So if you don't have a very good understanding of where chests spawn on a map, then this might not be the perk for you. Having said that, it does work really well in other looting builds, such as with Plunderer's Instinct, or I personally really like to run it with Pharmacy, and also Built to Last from Felix. However, these are all teachables, and of course, these aren't necessarily going to help you survive longer in the trial, so you'll probably find that you can get the most use out of this perk if you're running it with other perks that have already been unlocked. At level 35, we unlock Deception. When sprinting, if you run past a locker and use the spacebar, or whatever the key you use to jump into a locker normally. It will trigger a loud noise notification as if you hopped into that locker, and it will also stop you from leaving scratch marks for three seconds. This does have a cooldown of a minimum of 40 seconds, depending on what tier you're running it at, but if you're a competent looper or run this in a locker build, then you can really use this to your advantage and throw the killer off track. At level 40, we unlock Power Struggle. So when being carried by the killer, if you wiggle for at least 25% of your wiggle bar, then that will activate Power Struggle. Then after that, the next time that the killer walks through a pallet, you can use the active ability button to drop that pallet on the killer and pallet save yourself. After this, power struggle is deactivated when it's triggered successfully. So you can use this with perks like flip flop, and maybe if you're playing in a survivor friends group, you can get one of your friends to take the chase for a little bit, recover as much as possible, then that recovery status will be converted into wiggle status, and if you're under a pallet, when the killer picks you up, you can drop that pallet on the killer. And now, after everything that we've already been over, is LED better suited to newer or more experienced players. I think without a shadow of a doubt here, LED's perks definitely cater towards people that have more experience in the game. People who are brand new to the game aren't going to be that comfortable with her character model, given the fact that she is so easy to locate on the map, and also her teachables just really complement more experienced players overall. If you know how to play them correctly as well and you're playing with friends, then they can really be a real nuisance to the killer. So if you're more experienced and you want to change up your build a little bit, then I think Elodie's perks are a good way of doing so. They have something for the looters, they also have something for the loopers, and they have something for people that are playing with their friends. Anyway, that is all for this one video. I hope you guys don't mind the delay, but obviously with some of Elodie's teachables being changed, I really wanted to make sure that this was the most accurate version that I could put out before I gave it to you. As always, if you want to see another one of these videos, let me know who you want to see the next episode on in the comments. My socials are linked in the description, and thank you all so much for making it this far in. Until next time, take care. Slick.